you over the three thermal imagers that are currently used at the Western Taney County Fire District. We have the uh, MSA uh, 5600. This is the oldest one we have. Um, it's now, I believe, only going to be on engine 121 at station 12. Um, it's a good thermal imager. It is just the older version and probably the battery life is probably the biggest problem this one has. It's pretty short battery life. The one we have the most of at the most stations is the Draeger uh, UCF 1600. Um, it's, it's definitely our workhorse, the, ma the main ones we have. And then we have five of the new Draeger UCF 7000. They were all just purchased at different times. Um, and some through grants, some were purchased direct, and that's why we have three different companies. On the MSA, to change the battery, you open the clip in the back, it opens a case on the bottom, the battery comes out, the uh, contact should be toward the top, it only fits in easily one way, and uh, you have a spare battery on the charger on your truck. This biggest issue with this thermal imager is the short life of the battery. When you grab your thermal imager, it would, you would be well advised to grab just a spare battery that goes with it. To turn it on, you push the green center button briefly and it comes on. It already went into standby mode because I held it too long. Then it, it comes on. Uh, next to the center icon here is the green light that comes on indicating it's on. It um, indicates the battery on the right, and on the far left is the overheat indicator. And you see through the, the screen is your thermal imager. And, and on the right side of the screen you have a little temperature indicator, but that's really about all there is to this thermal imager. To shut it off, or to put it in a standby mode, you push it ver briefly, and uh, the on indicator light blinks, and the screen goes off. If you want to use it again, push it again briefly, comes back on, the light stays on. To shut off, you just push and hold, the light blinks, and it shuts off. After you're sure the camera is off and you put it back in the charger, make sure the overall camera is pretty clean, but particularly right here where the, the charging connections are, uh, where you drop it in and, and, uh, and make the contacts to charge. If they're dirty, it will not charge and uh, it will not work next time they need to use it. The Draeger UCF 1600, uh, to change the battery, pull up on this clip, battery comes out very easily. You have a spare one on the charger, just exchange it and push it in until it clicks in and that's how your battery works. And that's how your battery works. So turn it on, you push the center button and uh, it comes on. The green light is indicating it's coming on. And then the screen comes on going through the warm up process. The camera is on, you can see it. Um, the, the options you have is if you want to go to standby, it does it after a while, but if you want to go standby, you just uh, uh, hold it for a little bit and it starts blinking. It's now in standby. If you need it back, you turn it back on and it's back on. To zoom in, you push the uh, mode button briefly and the magnifying glass comes on with the plus in the middle, it means you zoomed in. To get rid of this, you push it again and the, the, our, uh, the magnifying glass goes away. If you want to change your modes, you push and hold longer and it goes into CP02 and it's primarily a different background. Um, three. four, five, and most of those have benefits, but um, we use them not really. Unless you go to the uh, CP06, and that is primarily for outdoor searching of a person. Uh, the contrast is, is pretty drastic, even in, in uh, only minor changes in temperatures. The up and down buttons you can use um, 
to show uh, a dras more drastic difference in color if you like searching for um, a ballast or something that is out. Normally it's set at 250 but as you go down um, you can turn that like we have an ambient temperature of 87 degrees right now we can set this like 100 and 108 so just a minor difference in in, um, in uh, temperature will show the difference and the temperature reading is done in this little um, X in the middle of the screen that's where your actual temperature um, is taken at. On this particular one if you went into a mode or some temperature setting and you don't know you do not remember how to get out of it you will have to push and hold and shut off um, to reset it. To, to shut the unit off you push and hold until um, it completely shuts down this light has to be off and the screen has to be off. Be sure that you get both of this off when you put the unit back in the charger. Also when you put the unit back in the charger obviously have it pretty clean and make sure these contacts here are clean before you drop it back in the charger and make sure that the charging light uh, comes on that this unit is dropped in that's the only way it will charge properly. Our newest uh, UCF 7000 from Draeger uh, is also the most complicated to change the batteries on. However, um, the battery is rated the longest. It's supposed to work eight hours, so you should not normally have to change your battery. Next to your charger is this little screwdriver. It's either if the charger is mounted vertically, drilled on top. If it's mounted flat, it may be just Velcro to the side. It is the same little Allen wrench on the end of this, like what we use to change the batteries on the Draeger um, 4 and 5 gas meters. So if you're familiar with those, uh, it uses exactly the same tool. You unscrew these screws until they're loose, they will not fall out, and the battery comes out, and if not, there's a hole here where you take your tool, push down, and catch the battery on the bottom, and it comes out. It's a very long battery, uh, distinct from all the other thermal images we have, and you exchange it. There is a, a seal around the bottom, make sure that's okay, in good shape, push it back in, and then tighten it up. To turn the unit on, push and hold the green button until the back lid starts coming on and the green light on the green button comes on, the unit starts powering up. Once the pro startup program is over, you get a temperature indication on the right in a scale, an actual temperature reading on the lower right, battery indicator on the center, uh, a square box in the center of the screen where the um, temperature is being taken. One of the neatest features that nobody else has is uh, you push this, uh, this button momentarily on the right, a little triangle shows up and that means a laser pointer is on. As you can see, this has a laser pointer. And again, this will be at the same place where the square is where it takes the reading. If you need to show somebody something, that will be handy for that. When you're done with it, don't forget to turn that off. Then um, the next feature is uh, the zoom. Um, you push, on the, push this to the left, the, the zoom comes on times two, means the item is zoomed in. The, if you don't, you undo it, push it one more time, and it's, it's gone. As you see, this unit also is going into standby mode now. The screen is getting a little darker, and it, it counts down uh, from basically about 30 seconds to um, going all the way down. If that happens, don't worry about it. When the screen goes blank, as long as these lights are still on, you're fully operational. All you have to do is touch the handle, and it's right back on. Another feature, if you push this button down, it shows here that you're in the standard version, standard mode. Uh, you, you push that and then you can go sideways. You can go thermal scan, shows more drastic different colors. You can go fire, that is when you deal with hot, extreme hot and extreme cold stuff. Uh, persons, this is the same as the mode 6 was in the other one. Great for outdoor searches or a search in a smoke filled room without fire. And then go back to standard. 
on this unit, if you mess it up and you're in some mode and you don't know what to do, just briefly depress the on button and it puts you back to the original yes. setting. It's this little trigger, finger, trigger button right here that's on your trigger finger. If there is something you want to show somebody, you just look at it, you hold the button and it freezes the picture so nothing changes. And it will stay like that until you show it to somebody. And when you're done, you simply let go and you're back to normal operation. So it's a button that you have to hold to show somebody. This camera also records the last two hours that it was on and has been used and um, it can be downloaded right here as a USB, a small USB connector. You have to bring in a district office to do that. For you in the field primarily it means just try to protect this, uh, this connector here, don't get it too dirty. Um, and uh, we, we're not planning on routinely to download stuff, but if something would happen or there's a big question about something, we have the option to download it. To shut this unit down, simply push and hold the center button and you can see the unit counting down and shutting off. Shutting off means the screen is off, the backlit part here is off, and this button is turned off. To sum this up, um, we have three different cameras we use in the fire district. It is important that you have a basic understanding of all of them, even if you're uh, only used to using one. Particularly, uh, you may end up having a reserve engine or you're responding with another station that you're normally not using and it's critical that you still have a basic knowledge of the uh, thermal imager.